So how did you, st like, how did you get into your career in the first place? I, gosh, it's hard to say. I um, am really lucky because I've been really supported by my parents toward um, following my dream to be an actress. But I, w I wouldn't say I planned on being an actress. What happened was when I applied for colleges, I knew I also wanted to act at the same time. So my mom looked up in the Fisk Guide schools that had good acting programs. Mm-hmm. And suddenly we're like, oh, wow, you have to audition for like schools that um, have acting programs. So we were looking at schools with a great academic education and a great um, acting program for fun, not realizing that I suddenly was auditioning for all these conservatories. And so I ended up going to Carnegie Mellon, which is an acting school, um, totally not realizing that it's a conservatory and completely... Um, uh, what's the word? The curriculum is uh, is created to make an actor in a professional world, and so it really just like fell into place. We had a showcase, and um, I met my manager through there, and I've really lucked out in terms of the people who believed in me. That's so great. So you have appeared on a new show called yes. Doctor Ken. And how's that going? It's good. We're actually on our second season now. And um, it's really exciting that we have this time to um, flourish even more. We get to create deeper characters. We get to have more storylines that are also deeper and um, touch on very specific and important topics in the hospital world. So when you're not on set, because you're definitely busy a lot, what do you do in your free time or any hobbies? Recently, I have found myself at a lot of local art fairs. Um, I find the art fairs and the designer cons really inspiring because these people create their own art, make a business out of it, all on their own, and it's all their own takes on life and their takes on specific things. And I'm so inspired by their drive and their passion and their artistry because the best I could ever do is draw a stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my art skills are pretty horrible. <laughs> Um, I also really like to cook. I like to bake, um, and I also I don't I just I enjoy my friends and just try to take each day at a time. That's what we're all doing right now. So, what are your hopes for your career in the future? Right now, I'm. I feel so lucky to be here. I feel so lucky to be learning from Ken every day, from Susie, from Tisha Kale Martin, Dave Foley, and Jonathan Slavin. Literally every day I learn something new, and they're the kindest people to me. And so right now I'm just looking forward to each episode as it comes, because we're, we're about halfway through the season and we have about ten more. That's amazing. Such a great position to be in right now. It really is. I, I thank my lucky stars every day. So how has your character changed from the beginning to the season to just about right now and while you guys are shooting? Molly has changed a lot. Um, last season, Molly was very vocal in terms of wanting to gain her independence as a teenager. She really wanted her parents to know that she was her own person. So she would be manipulative, she'd be a little snarky, she loved clothes and boys. And what happened was she's a very smart girl, and so she's never really had to work that hard, but she did badly on her SATs. Mm. And it just changed everything around, and she realized she really had to focus in order to be able to get into Stanford, because that's what she's always wanted. So she's really changed this year. She's realized that her parents are there to help her and there to support her, and she's 
um, developed an appreciation for them and a respect for them and a much more dedicated and serious outlook 